Hello, uh, I'm Andrius Adamonis from Bank of Lithuania. I'm a project lead uh, on pre commercial procurement uh, project uh, uh, on Bank of Lithuania. Uh, this is the first project, the pre commercial procurement uh, at Lithuania. It's very successful and it's used as an example for our uh, procuring bodies. So now we have, uh, I think, more than 10 pre commercial procurements ongoing. Also, I will share you. Uh, our experience of Bank of Lithuania, how we went from a uh, standard public institution with old-fashioned uh, thinking to innovative thinking and using innovative procurements to, to buy innovations. Uh, I prepared a few slides of theory, but uh, to save some time, I will skip them, so or just run very quickly. So basically, uh, public institutions uh, do innovations about their internal processes, how to lower administration burden, but they are not focusing on providing new innovative solutions to the market. Uh, and uh, usually they do not collaborate with uh, businesses, with other, other public institutions or the citizens to understand the needs. Uh, so there's a lot of limitation so in, in, the, in the public uh, institution innovation process. Uh, so first of all, it's usually lack of internal communication or it's bad internal communication and it's caused by bad management when it's not knowledge sharing, it's not competence sharing and it's two different divisions or departments, people doing the same job uh, and do not know about each other. Uh, also, uh, public institutions uh, are here to, to supervise the market, to ensure that processes uh, are, are doing well and not to say, uh, and they are here to say how to do things right, but not how to do right things. Uh, so this is one way of, of why it's hard for public sector uh, to, to, to innovate. Uh, also, because of uh, previous point, uh, most of public sector institutions, they are focusing on past, analyzing past was what has been done, and. Uh, do not, uh, and only 20% of time they are investing into how to implement some innovations, how to, to foster processes or, or something else. Uh, and also the complicated procedure of procurement. So this is a huge challenge, especially if you would like to buy R&D services. Uh, the required, required attributes of innovation adoption is, uh, first of all, uh, High-level management should foster and should support uh, the, the innovation policy or innovation process in the public institution. And after then, uh, when you have a process, you need to have encouragement system. And I'm speaking here not about uh, monetary encourages, uh, but it can be, for example, provide four hours a week for an employee uh, to work on his idea, to, to develop this idea, and then and, during, and using the process of innovation to, to raise this idea to a product and maybe later on to the production level. And physical location. So innovation need, need a home. Uh, and to innovate, to have a new creative ideas, creative thinking, you need to change the, your, your location where you sit, your casual location where you sit uh, every day. And it's, it's sometimes getting annoyed during the winter when it's cold and dark all the time. So you need to go to, to other places to play uh, maybe some uh, table football or, or some, do something else to, to, to do, a cre to, to do in a creative innovations. At the Bank of Lithuania, uh, we got all these things, except uh, physical location. We are now uh, in negotiation with our uh, building uh, department. Uh, building administration department to, to provide some, some space for us to, to innovate. But we have uh, approved innovation policy by the board of the Bank of Lithuania, uh, where the innovation committee is responsible for innovation process and fostering innovation. Uh, also, we have active collaboration with other public institutions and businesses uh, through projects which I will be later uh, describing so it's GovTech Lab uh, for commercial procurement, uh, and we are using Hackathon to buy some, some, some ideas or some some products, and we are using innovative procurements. So first of all, Hackathon. So 
a hackathon usually uh, and the beginning of hackathon was then the developers, the programmers came to, to one place, they closed the doors, uh, shut the windows and the code developed something uh, for 24 hours, 48 hours, they drink a lot of uh, energy drinks, coffee, they eat pizzas and after that weekend they come with a prototype, with a product, with a, some new invention on specific topic. topic. So at the Bank of Lithuania uh, we got few hackathons, uh, but because we are a public institution, government body, we need to, to somehow lay the, the concept of hackathon to the legal acts, and, and the best suit for this was project contest. Usually project contest uh, in Lithuania was used for buying, uh, architect building architecture solutions, and when you have the idea, the design of your building, uh, then you can go to, to a company which will build uh, that, that, that building. So, yes, we, we, you, uh, during the project contest you can award winners. Uh, you need to have a commission to, to select who is the, which company is the winner. Uh, and then this is the, the same as, as the, we, we had at the hackathon. So we had two hackathons. Uh, first was uh, LB Coin Hackathon, it's external hackathon. So at the beginning we got an idea that we need to digitalize collectible coins and probably we can use a blockchain technology uh, and then try to investigate this possibility. Uh, so we got uh, more than 10 companies, I think it's 12 companies where uh, 12 teams, not, not only companies, came to our hackathon uh, and after a weekend we understand that it should be a limited number of unique and not scalable coins and probably the coin should be linked with physical coin. Uh, and we got a gamification element uh, for uh, gathering various different smaller coins to one big golden coin, it's like a puzzle. Uh, and we need to use two blockchains, first one private for uh, accountant and the second one public for uh, secondary market. So this idea uh, was proposed by the participants of Hackathon. They were startups, they were some mature companies, IT companies, blockchain companies, some students. Uh, after that, we collected all the information uh, they provide us, uh, wrote our requirements for public procurement, uh, and then now we are in a final phases, and I think until the end of this year, we will release this uh, LB coin, digital collectible coin, on blockchain. The other hackathon was a, an internal Bank of Lithuania hackathon on robotic process automatization. Uh, so we gather uh, all interested employees into one place. Uh, we said, you are well uh, experienced in your, uh, your processes, what you are doing in your job. Uh, so you can use uh, the RPA to, to save some time. Uh, and then they, they, they made some, some uh, some ro robots to implement their casual processes. GovTech Lab, so this is also a project contest, but this is a collaboration between various dif different public institutions uh, in the Lithuania, and most of the ministries uh, are participating in here. So the aim is to solve the challenges of uh, government sector uh, using innovative pr procurement, uh, and they have a challenge series in this GovTech lab, so we started first uh, challenge series, so uh, open call for challenge, so public institutions uh, announced uh, what is the problem for them, uh, after that uh, they selected five best uh, challenges, uh, we held a workshop uh, on each challenge, so the, the interested parties must understand what is the challenge, what is the problem, uh, after that, they have two months to develop uh, the prototype. So because it's five challenges, we will, we will have five prototypes. After that, they will increase from prototype to product uh, and the final presentation and the uh, public institution will buy the best, the best solution for them. Uh, so in total, it's 12 months for buying innovation. Uh, and per commercial procurement, so this is theory I, I skip a little bit, uh, on our uh, on our LB chain, so LB chain is blockchain sandbox. Uh, it's uh, regulatory and technology support provided in this sandbox and it's aimed for FinTech to foster their uh, solution to the market. So if they have an idea, they come to us, we will provide technical support, regulatory support, uh, test environment, and, and then they will be able to, 
to go from the idea to a product faster and with less expenses. Uh, so the goals of uh, LB Chain is to accelerate the development and application of blockchain solution in the financial market and improve the quality of regulation in the financial sector. Now I will speak about uh, pro-commercial procurement. So it's made from three phases. Uh, the main idea is to risk and benefits sharing with the uh, companies. Uh, the second main idea is a uh, few companies competing between each other and after each uh, phase one company falls out. So we got third, uh, in the we, we got nine tenders to the third phase to the first phase. We selected four companies. You can see the, the huge names like IBM and Deloitte, they, they are also was creating our LB chain solution. Uh, after in the first phase they uh, from our very broad technical specification, we made a technical spe specification for them and more concrete solution how LB Chain should operate. They made a market consultation, uh, they, they made a research uh, and found that the LB Chain is unique in the, in the world. After that, we selected three companies, uh, IBM, Deloitte and Tieto, so they created three prototypes. Uh, we compare them, evaluate them, and uh, we will we we'll select uh, three, uh, two companies to third phase, where they will uh, develop a limited volume product, and after that we will buy um, probably some uh, some support and maintenance services for them. Uh, the risk and benefit sharing is that uh, in Lithuania uh, there are requirements right now that uh, these companies must. Uh, uh, invest their own money uh, more than we are we are paying for them. So and all the uh, IPR left to the company. Uh, and commercial procurement is for buying R and D services and is the best suit for us, the Bank of Lithuania. When we thought about LB, uh, we need to have LB chain. Uh, there was no good or or how to say compatible with our idea procurement method in Lithuania in that time. So we found about commercial procurement and it's very, very valuable for, for us. We gained a lot of information and I suggest to, to use a commercial procurement in your institution uh, as well. Uh, this is a timeline, so we will uh, start an innovative procurement in April 2020 and thank you. Thank you. <laughs>